thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this video is going to be addressing the Masonic Apron. Taken from the Builder Magazine, 1917, Volume 3, Number 3. The Apron by Brother H.A. Kingsbury, Connecticut. But few, if any, of the various symbols regarding which the Masonic candidate is instructed carry with them a wealth of symbolic significance and interestingly suggestion equal to that borne by the symbol which the candidate is given and concerning which he is instructed in his first degree, the Masonic apron. The briefest study of its origin, its color, its material and its shape and of the various positions of which it is worn cannot fail to give the student a better realization of the wonderful completeness and perfection of Masonic symbolism. The right of investiture and the significance of that right, i.e. the appropriate preparation of the candidate for the ceremonies in which he is about to engage come to us from far back in the world's history and they come well recommended. The priest of the Israelites wore a linen apron. In the Persian mysteries the candidate was invested with an apron. The Essenes always provided their novices with robes and in the Scandinavian rites the candidates received a shield. In each of these instances the color of the investiture was like that of the Masonic apron, white. The significance of that color has always been the same, purity. That white is the symbol of purity could be illustrated by almost innumerable examples. Throughout the scriptures are many illustrative references. The Egyptians decorated the head of their principal deity, Osiris, with a white tiara. The disciples of Pythagoras, in attendance at his school, wore garments of white when chanting the sacred hymns. In the early ages of the Christian church, a white garment was placed upon the recently baptized convert to denote that he had been cleansed of his former sins. Portal, in his Treaty on Symbolic Colors, refers to white as a characteristic sign of purity. The material of the apron, lambskin, is also of symbolic significance. The ritual states that the lamb has been, in all ages, an emblem of innocence. Examples of the truth of this statement are too common to call for notice here. The significance of the shape of the apron can be, perhaps, best seen when this symbol is spread to its greatest extent as illustrated in solid lines in the figure. In this position it leads to the contemplation of the triangle, the square, the nine significant numbers, the brooch thurnail, and the obelisk of Egypt. That is, by its flap presents the triangle, and by its body presents the square, is obvious. It presents one large figure, composed of two smaller figures, one having three sides and the other four sides. It is bound by five lines and has six lines in all. The square has four angles and the triangle has three, making seven in all. It may be considered as a full front view of a solid, a side and a top face of which are indicated by dotted lines in the figure composed of a cube surmounted by a rectangular pyramid and this solid as it stands on a support and with its bottom face concealed presents eight faces and as lifted from the support to expose all its faces presents nine faces thus does the apron call attention to the nine significant numbers and hence to the various philosophies of numbers again the solid suggested by the apron is the thernal the brooch of the thernal is, it is to be regarded, growing unfamiliar to many present day masons, though it still appears under the trestle board of the French entered apprentice. It is for the entered apprentice to try his working tools upon. Among English speaking masons, 
it has given place to the perfect ashlar because of its shape, that of a rectangular parallelopiped surmounted by a rectangular pyramid. The solid suggested by the apron brings to mind the obelisk of Egypt. Thus the apron, by indirection, refers to the pillars of the porch. It being hardly open to question that those pillars found their suggestion in the obelisk erected, one at each side of the entrance, before Egyptian temples, to symbolize the northern and the southern limit of the travel of the sun. From this point the student is led by an almost inappreciable step to the consideration of sun worship, circumambulation, or Egyptian mysteries. The story of Osiris and his murder by Typhon and kindred matters. The positions in which the apron is worn are also significant. Considering its position as a whole, it is worthy of notice that that position is about the waist. Being so placed, the apron not only divides the human body into two distinct parts, the upper intellectual portion and the baser lower portion, but also, and what is of more importance, it conceals the lower portion. So, symbolically, it reveals the nobler qualities of man and conceals the baser, always doing in theory that which is all always to do in practice. Considering the apron with regard to the varied positioning of the flap and the body in the first, the second, and the third degree, it is plain to be seen that the symbolism in this connection is identical with that of the square encompasses. That is, there is here symbolically presented the gradual domination of the material represented by the square, by the spiritual, represented by the triangle. The final lesson that masonry inculcates, the overcoming of the material by the spiritual, is the greatest teaching of the apron. Indeed, in giving us this crowning symbolism, does not this simple white lambskin apron presented to each of us in the period of our first gropings for Masonic light gives us the summation of all the teachings of masonry. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description below. Thank you very much.